Hello everybody, welcome back to some Skyrim Special Edition. As you can see, we are not in White Run doing companion quest lines because I almost completely forgot that we still haven't made it up to that special uh, modded place there that I downloaded. Uh, so I figured we would do that because all we need to do is this quest for it, which is part of the main quest line. Sky above, voice within. Yep. I need to learn the shout used to defeat Aldwin. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? It was recorded on Aldwin's wall. The Blade, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bound. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Uh, the Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So, can you teach me this show? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. Uh... What is so bad about Dragonrend? It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives are consumed with hatred for dragons, and they pour all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. So if the shout is lost, how can I defeat Aldrin? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. I need to speak to Parthenax then. You weren't ready, you still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. So why haven't I met Parthenax yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. So how do I get to the top of the mountain to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Okay. Time to learn another three words of the show. I didn't already have the achievement for learning. I don't even remember how many words of power you need to learn for it. I think it's quite a few. I think it's most of the ones that you can find in the main game. I don't think that they made it all of the ones in the main game because there's a, there's a couple that I think you might... Well, no, I was going to say there's a couple that you can be locked out of, but I don't think that's quite true. There's a couple that are locked behind quests, but I'm not sure if you can get locked out of doing those quests. I doubt it. Especially if there's a shout involved. I highly doubt it. But anyway, this will be the last main quest we do for a while. Uh, unless you guys want me to continue with the main quest. I mean, I could just burn through the main quest and then uh, go through like the companions and that, but I'd rather honestly do them first because some of the stuff you do does affect the main quest. The most important thing you can do that affects the main quest is honestly the Civil War. That If you do that quest line, that's the one that really affects the, the main quest line because it completely skips one of the main quests. The path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. Okie dokie. it. I, 
gonna. I will grant you my understanding of clear skies. This is your final gift from us, Dragon Ball. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist. But only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, and you will reach the summit. Okay. So now there is a trick you can do uh, at the top of this. Oh, there it is. At the top of this, where, like, as you see, we don't have fire breath right now. Um, we're going to learn a word of fire breath when we make it to the top. But here's the thing. Um, you can learn the first word of it, obviously, if you don't have... I don't know, my character is really short there for some reason. Um, but yeah, you can learn the first word, like we will. Um, if you don't know any of them yet. But... The other thing you can do is you will actually learn the word, and just like the Greybeards, you'll learn the word, and um, and then after you learn the word, you'll just it'll just be unlocked for you. Oh, and my shout apparently didn't work. Got a fucking almost invincible ice right here. Oh, come on, get that. Go. Oh, and now where exactly is this? Behind. Maybe it's up higher. Probably up higher. Um. But anyway, you will actually get the word, and then if you have a Dragon Soul with you, and you go into your shout menu, and you unlock that word with a Dragon Soul that you already have, um, before they give you the understanding of it, or however the fuck they say it, um, when they do go to provide you the understanding for it, uh, it will actually then automatically just give you and unlock the next word of the show. Uh, we're not going to do that because we're going to end up finding all three words anyway. Uh, but I just thought it was something that I should mention because it is a neat little trick that you can do if for whatever reason you really want the fire breath show early. Or some more words of the fire breath show early. Hello? Uh, but yeah, like I said, it's not super worth it. We'll also be picking up a unique pickaxe while we're up here. Uh, that isn't really all that special, but I mean, it will replace the pickaxe that we're currently carrying with us, just because it's a unique one, so we may as well, right? I kind of wish there was a magic spell that was like generate stamina or something, you know? Hello? Just like, because I know that there's one, I think it's called Equilibrium, that will change your Magicka into, or no, it'll change your health into Magicka, that's what it does. Um, I missed it somehow, well whatever, we'll unlock it after. Oh no, it's a dragon! Whatever shall we Realm do? Yolok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I think you already know who I am. Yes, Vaza. You speak true, Dovakin. Forgive me. It has been long since I held Tinbark with a stranger. I gave in to the temptation to prolong our speech. 
Um, why live alone on a mountain if you love conversation? Evanar Balok, there are many hungers it is better to deny than to feed. Drechni Nakib, discipline against the lesser, aids in Kahnar, denial of the greater. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? I need to learn the dragon rent show. Can you teach me? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it, if you are Dovahkiin. The word calls you. Go to it. So yeah, depending on if you've already learned any other words from Fire Breath, this one will change to be whichever one you uh, don't have. And now, like I said, if I were to open up my menu right now and use my own Dragon Soul to learn that word, when this was over, I would then automatically have the second word. There we go. Now, no! show me what you can do. Ah, yes. Sosedo Vlostmul. The dragon blood runs. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dova Sauce, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? That if you're going to translate all the dragon words you're saying, just say the regular words anyway, because you're just really being weird about it when you say the dragon one. Ah, I have expected you, Froda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Um, how did you know I came for Dragon Red? I mean, I wouldn't say that. I already asked him twice that that's why I was here. Uh, the Greybeards didn't want me to come at all. They are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Hey, I have that mask. Your kind, Jaw, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime. Our minds cannot even comprehend its concepts. How can I learn it, then? Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this Thum? So I like this world, I don't want it to end. Uh, well, I mean, I need to stop Alduin. I mean, both of those things, I mean, like, I need to stop Alduin, sure. I like this world, I don't want it to end. I mean, so I need to stop Alduin, but I don't like this world? Is that what that one's saying? I'll go with I like this world, but I don't want it to end. Cruza has good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? The next world will have to take care of itself. Pause. A fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. 
Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Ulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here at the peak of the Monaven? What you name Throat of the World? You know, dragons like mountains, right? I mean, I never thought about I mean, I'm assuming you live here because if you didn't, people would try and kill you because you're a big old dragon. I mean, where's that answer? Whatever. No, dragons like mountains, right? True. But few now remember that this was the very spot where Alduin was defeated by the ancient tongues. Vaucht Unslad. Perhaps none but me now remember how he was defeated. Using the dragon rank shell, right? Mm, yes and no. Viknus Nikron. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Ok Mulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Are you saying the ancient Norns sent Aldwin forward in time? Mm, not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Maye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day, he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Uh, how does any of this help me? Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Teed Ahran, the Time Wound, with the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Do you know where I can find an Elder Scroll? Croesus, no. I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. <sighs> Esbern or Arngir might have some idea. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. You're the master of the Greybeards. Do others come here to train? Hmm. I have taught the way of the voice for centuries, and the Thum since long before that. But no, Dovahkiin. Others do not come here to train anymore. Saran, you are the first in over a hundred years. I meditate on the Rotmulag. The words of power, I counsel in their use. It is enough for me. 
meditate on the words how. Knowing a word of power is to take its meaning into yourself. Contemplate the meaning of a Rotmulag. You will become closer to that word as it fills your inner self. Will I teach you, Dovakin? What word calls you to deeper understanding? There are three to master. Fus, Faim, and Yol. It is called force in your tongue. But as you push the world, so does the world push back. Think of the way force may be applied effortlessly. Imagine but a whisper pushing aside all in its path. That is Fus. Let its meaning fill you. Sum Ark Mora. You will push the world harder than it pushes back. Okay, um... What does the Dragon Ranch Shout actually do? I cannot tell you in detail. I never heard it used. Kogan. It was the first Thun created solely by mortals. It was said to force a dragon to experience the concept of mortality. A truly von Mindoran incomprehensible idea to the immortal dove. Okay, so how could an Elder Scroll cast Aldwin through time? Vormendok, I do not know. Perhaps in the very doing, they erased the knowing of it from time itself. That doesn't make sense. The dove are children of Akatosh. Thus, we are specially attuned to the flow of time, perhaps also uniquely vulnerable. I warn them against such a rash action. Even I could not foresee its consequences. Nust Lihon, they would not listen. You mean you were there? Yes. There were a few of us that rebelled against Alduin's Thul, his tyranny. We aided the humans in his overthrow. But they did not trust us, ni of. Their inner counsels were kept hidden from us. I was far from here on the day of Alduin's downfall, but all Dove felt the sundering of time itself. Uh, okay. That's good. Sum Ark Mor Drem Yolok. Speak. I will listen. I don't know what that just happened there. But anyway, if you go to active effects, force without effort. You stagger 25% less and force stagger 25% more. That is what you get with when you focus or when you meditate on that. Um, you can get other bonuses if you meditate on the other words, obviously. Um, Look but that's the one I chose because I didn't really remember what the other ones did. Now, I mean, I'm heading the right way. Yes, that is. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, and I do want to head... Oh, shit. Oops, almost forgot. The pickaxe. Almost forgot the pickaxe. So yeah, Parthenax will hang out there now. Uh, we could come up here whenever we, whenever we want to, and uh, we can change what word we meditate on. You can't meditate on all three. Uh, you can only have one at a time active, uh, just like a lot of other things in this game. Uh, they give you the options, but you can only have one, which makes sense because if you could take all of them, then you would become even more overpowered than you already are. I don't know exactly where the pickaxe is. There we go. These should be Malachite ore. There should be an ebony one. Ah, there we go. Ebony ore. Yeah. And a notched pickaxe, which is the unique pickaxe based on Minecraft. 
as the guy who made it with name knowledge. Uh, there it is. Uh, raises the wielder's smithing abilities and does 5 shock damage to enemies on hit. So with that equipped, it does fortify your smithing slightly, but just ever so slightly. Um, and then yeah, obviously it does a little bit of extra damage. But overall, it's just another pickaxe. I mean, it does some shock damage, but I mean, the pickaxe doesn't do very much damage to begin with, so... And it's a fairly base enchantment, so it doesn't even do all that much shock damage. I'm slowly make my way. Oh, fuck. I was going to say slowly make my way down. Unfortunately, I may now have to cut out a part because I don't know where I'm going to be. Oh, good. Uh, I'm just going to check active effects, force without effort, weapons. Yeah, you can go grab the pickaxe again. But yeah, Alduin, like I said, chills over there. Now, um, maybe we'll just take the normal pathway down. Yeah, instead of uh, trying to slide down the mountain, it'd probably be a little bit easier. Come on, get up. Uh, I also like how they very clearly knew that. You could climb mountains a ridiculous way, considering that they hit this up here. Because realistically, I mean, you see the biggest mountain in the game, you're going to want to try and climb it, right? I mean, look at that view. I say look at that view. It's a nice view. You can see nothing in reality, but I mean, still. Anyway, we will take the normal pathway down until we get closer to our house there. I will also click save. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to bother with that right now because that quest, that quest is a long one. That one there takes a not insignificant amount of time to to reach. Should be able to climb back up here. But I think this is where I made it before it. Yeah, and then trying to slide down there is what got me killed. Come on. Come on, come on. Damn it, am I really not going to be able to? Oh, I can go this way though. Oop. Ah, here we go. This is significantly easier. And might actually get me there. I still don't know exactly where the entrance is. I'm assuming it's that statue yeah. that's there. Okay, that fall wasn't near, nearly big enough to do that. Damn. is. I don't know exactly how the hell you're supposed to get there normally, but that looks like a death drop. And I seem to be stuck on some kind of invisible wall there. Uh, I mean, that looks like a death drop, but that might be... Oh, you know what, though? Hang on. We are a dragonborn, though. Aha! <laughs> And the Dova dying. I'm assuming that's like yeah. Dragon House or something. Um. I mean, I haven't put any of my keys away. But I guess we can fast travel here anyway. But hang on, because I don't. Um. Spell this Dova Dean. Oh, it said it can be found on the skeleton. Does that mean the skeleton that's up there? No. Thank you. 
right? Because, I mean, I don't think I can even get back. Unless I'm looking at the wrong yeah. thing. Oh my god, did you just piss off with that? I'm assuming that that's the... Because I don't have the clear skies thing. <clears throat> but, I mean, how does one get back up there then? Because, I mean, I can't really whirlwind sprint back up. I ah! looked at the skeleton, it didn't give me an option to loot it unless it was like... Yeah. on its finger or something. Or maybe I'm looking at the wrong mod. I don't know. Uh, um, Oh, okay. Hang on. I see. I think I fucked up. I don't think that the skeleton that I saw was the right one. I think the skeleton with the key might be up here somewhere. It says it's near his resting perch, which would be this word wall here. Ah, there you go. The vault key. Alright. Now, unfortunately, it's no longer unlocked. Whatever. I guess I also didn't have to quick save that, though, because I can fast travel all the way up to the throat of the world. So I guess I could have, because then I could have fast traveled up there and then fast traveled back down. But I'm also not 100% sure if I need clear skies for this, but I'm going to uh, put it back on anyway on the off chance that it is required to get back down the mountain properly. But I'm also just kind of hoping that I'll be able to get back to the vault now. And then I'll have to go and clear out my... I don't know if there's any bookshelves in this to store books. I know that it has a few... No! Back off! Uh, A few mannequins and that, plus um, very specific areas uh, for very specific pieces of equipment and that that you can find some for some of the more unique stuff. I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to get up there without falling from yeah. up above, but that does an insane amount of damage. Really hate this clear sky shit. I mean, and especially since that there is. Oh, there we go. I got close enough. My horse is. This all. Yay, we got in. Finally. Oh, well, this is nice. So yeah, these ones I do believe, yeah. Activate, yeah. So if I had Wuthrad, I could put it in there. Oreo's bow goes there. These mannequins and weapon plaques are for me to use. Ebony mail, savior's hide, archmage robes, mythic dawn, Mirak, I'm assuming Mirak's staff and swords, the elder scrolls that you can get. Map of Dragon Burials, I don't have that on me. Dragonstone, I do not have that on me either. But I do believe... Oh. Uh, search treasure chest, really? Okay. Save, I'm assuming I can do that as well. What is this? Filament and filigree. 
Oh, these are, I'm assuming, special books. Okay. Falmer Tomb. Okay. Cool, cool. Right. Okay, and then these are things for the Thieves Guild that you can pick up. Nightingale Armor, Empty Chess, Mason Bullock Ball, Rufal Axe, Bowling Gun. Okay, and then these are the Daedric Artifacts. Ring of Namira, Pelagius' Hip Bone, Zero Star, or the Black Star. Latest Sacrifice, Marine Tracer, Spellbreaker. Uh, the reason I'm looking in these, by the way, is I know that there should be... Oh, just a regular weapon rack, okay. And Iron Shield's up on the wall. Uh, is I know that there is a chest or something. Torsten, Skull, Zarek, the camera. I don't even know what the hell those are. Uh, oh, the Dragon Priest Mask. Rod off, time off, good mask, crosses. All right, but I actually did put that on way. So I have Alduin's wall here. What does the Shrine of Akatosh do? Uh, nothing. Okay. Or well, actually, it might. Force, Highborn, and the Towers. Magicka regenerates 10% faster. Oh, that's actually very useful. But anyway, I'm reasonably certain that there was something here. Oh, Claws. I do have a couple of those too. And then that's for the bugs in the jar. And we have a display case, apparently. Or is there specifics for it? Or no? It doesn't seem like it. But I could have swore that I read a thing. Maybe it's in here. Ah, oh, there we go. So the Dragonstone, Golden Claw, Horn of War, Jorgen. And then these items here, because you can't drop those items or you need them on you. So the guy was nice enough to actually put extra ones on there for you. Uh, what the hell is the other thing? Ah, right, the Golden Claw, which was over here. Because these are items that uh, are involved in quests or something. So obviously keeping them after you've done the quest isn't really all that reasonable. Ah, uh, right, don't need any keys. I just know no, no. Peril. I don't think I have anything that would go here. Problems go. Okay. Okay, so now we shall head back. So notice there wasn't a place for Dragon Rank, which is interesting, since it is a somewhat unique sword. I was just looking at the list of what all actually gets put in there. Less than I thought, in all honesty. Like, for example... A Nettle Bane doesn't get put in there. For some reason. But anyway. Uh, we'll take the Blade Shield. You know, we'll take the Stormcloak one as well. Why not? Um... Armor enchantments, uh, dragon bone, fire soul, this. Oh, there you go. Map of dragon burials. That's one. Uh, 
uh, shear grab. Oh, the Sapphire Dragon Claw. Uh, spell Tones, Tattered Journal, Dossiers, Book of the Dragonborn. Uh, treasure map. I don't think the treasure maps are part of it, even though I think they should be, but. Um, Oh, okay. Jars, Felmer Tunes. There are some special books that uh, he has stuff for. He says the Blade Shield has a display for it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, some of those that I'm reading on there, honestly, I don't remember seeing a thing for it. Process. We need Nettle Bane. Let's get the Stormcloak Officer stuff. Uh, and the rest of the Blades armor. I guess we'll take the sword as well. Uh, we'll take the Kel or the Cultist stuff and the Nordic Carve stuff, because that stuff looks fucking cool. Blades helmet, cultist mask, cultist boost. The Thalmor stuff looks good as well. Stormcloak Officer, Blades, Nordic, uh, Cultus Robes. Okay. That'll be good for now. We shall take this and put them where they belong. And then I guess I'll have to decide where I would like to put all of the books. Because I was really hoping that they had empty bookshelves here. I would have enough space for all of the books, but oh well. Also, apparently I can lock the door again if I use the key in my inventory, but I, I don't know what the point of that would be. Okay, so where's all the busts? That one. There we are. Crosses. Boop. Oh yeah, I'm going to have this file. Um... Dawn. Book of the Dragonborn. Boosh. Yeah, I don't even know what some of those are. What some of those books are. I guess we also got the safe and the treasure chest. Place it on. What does this shelf do? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, the map of dragon burials. Boosh. Okay, let's see. We got this guy here. We got Ysgrimor on this side. Let's throw the blades armor on that. Probably can't give him a shield, eh? Nope. And then we'll throw... I just realized I don't have any uh, Imperial armor to throw on here. Carved armor, boots, and gauntlets. I apparently don't have Nordic carved helmet, but that's fine. Weapon plaque. Blood skull. Oh, blood skull bla blade. Soul render. Arkin sword. No. Soul render and blood sight. Blade Shield, Dawn Guard Rune Shield of Solitude, Targe of the Blood, okay. And over here, we'll throw the Cultist stuff on this one. We might change out some of these later as well, just 
uh, you know, based on what we find, but for the moment, I kind of wish that I could put the, I mean, I guess I can put the stone cloak shield on there. I see, so that won't take the, that one won't take the shield. That's fair. Uh, let's see, I guess I could put the blade sword up there. Although, isn't there, like, oh yeah, there's the regular weapon racks over here. Now, if I take these iron shields down, can I, aha, it is a shield rack. Cloak shield. Boosh. Nice. And then if I take, take Dragon Bane, I guess, which is the same as a blade sword, and we'll actually put it near the blade's armor. We'll throw that one up there. Boosh. Um, and then is there anything else? I mean, there might be other things that I would like to display here, like Nettle Bane. Um, so I'll throw metal bane over here. It doesn't really make a difference. Watch the pickaxe. Don't care about any of that. Um, the armor that I care about is displayed. Miscellaneous. All right, the sapphire dragon claw goes. Ah, there we go. Glass, diamond, iron, coral, ebony, emerald, ruby. Sapphire, boosh. Nope. What would I want in this display case? I don't think I have anything particularly that I'd like. That's where the paragons go. Oh, I see. The bugs in the jar go on the shelf underneath. But the paragon things you get from the one DLC go there. Also, apparently this... Not this one. This one. The Right Eye of the Falmer, Nightingale Blood, and that. All of this will apparently... Uh, fill in by itself as you collect the stuff for the Thieves Guild uh, and it gets put on display there. It will just automatically fill in this as well. Um, now the only thing that shouldn't is if you see it has the right eye of the Falmer there and the left eye up there. Uh, and the reason I say that it shouldn't is because those ones there, you only actually sell one of them, I do believe. Savage Axe, Skull Corruption, People Axe, Sandy Rose. And then also with some of these, there's some like, you have the Rueful Axe that goes there. And then you have the Mask of Clavicus, the Clavicus Vile Mask that would go there. Uh, those are two separate items. I think you might be able to get them both, so we might have to try that just to fill this out. Um... What's the other one to get though? Just hit one sort of star from Fraser. Oh yeah, the Ring of Her Sign and Savior's Hide are also two separate ones you can get, but they are also ones that you can uh, glitch to get. I say glitch, but that you can bug out to get both. But anyway, how long have we been going? You know, I've almost been going an hour with that, so. That'll be it for this part. Uh, next part, we might actually, now that we have this place unlocked, go through the Companions quest line because then we can get Wuthrad for here. And then who knows, maybe we'll focus more on some of the stuff that we need to fill out this place. Because like I said, I would like to get this place filled out as much as possible. Um, now a lot of this is going to be main quest stuff, like the Mythic Dawn we could do, that's part of a danger quest, kind of, where we get it, and we might do that one, because not only would we get that, but we would also get the Mythic Dawn commentaries from it, um, along with the Blade of Maroon's Razor, we would also get that. Also, what goes, oh right, these are the Dragon, or the Elder Scrolls that go there. Uh, but yeah, and then this one is purely DLC. Uh, 
that one we could actually get fairly easily. Staff of Magnus. Oh. Oh. Staff of Magnus. Activate. You can actually put other stuff with them, eh? Okay. The Ebony Mail Display is just the Ebony Mail Display, though. Savior's Hide would just be Savior's Hide. That also makes sense. Archmage. The Staff of Magnus. Can you actually get the... Do you keep the Staff of Magnus? I don't remember. I mean, you must if you can put it there. But anyway, that'll be it for this part. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and I hope to see you again next week.